waktu kau message aku Sungguh ku percaya dengan kata-katamu Tapi di belakang kau tipu-tipu aku Sakitnya hatiku, air mataku jatuh TikTok and Instagram Has already made lots of content creators famous Regardless, what content they provide? The most important question How about our attitude toward them? Well, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Recently, we also warned by the term Kids Jamano The term explained the existence of you today By expressing themselves in a different way This existence is flourishing because of social media's influence The various social media makes us easily show ourselves to the world Provoked by the term Kids Jamano They try to distinguish themselves from the common character we know Using TikTok and Instagram to show the lovebird and other things related to the love scene with their boy or girlfriends. We cannot neglect and forget how Boa and Libe became famous in a negative way. Before that, Young Lex, Anya Geraldine, and Al Karin breaks the boundaries and set the new standard on how younger generation should do. The term Kalian Suci, Aku Penuh Dosa, or Nakal, Tapi Masih Batas Wajar. Seems to have the idea that being mischievous is okay. Being different for the society standard is okay. I will say that it is not okay. I agree that TikTok and Instagram leads to the negative way. I agree that someone who creates the negative content in both platform should be banned. But the most important thing is, I strongly disagree about how our manner toward this content creators. Do you still remember the case of Boa Peliba? He is the TikTok user who got mocking because of his content and action. You know how people react? They bullied him. The netizen bullied him because he spread the content which answered table with his young age. Rather than give positive comment that made mouth at Boa. Bullying his age, his action, even his face. Ladies and gentlemen, we talk as if we are the most righteous person in the world. We comment as if he is the worst. We argue as if it is the best action for him. But actually, it is not. I know, ladies and gentlemen, we just want to make him in the right path. But you know, we end up giving him the negative comment. We say we have to stop bullying. But actually, we are the one who did the bullying. Ladies and gentlemen, it is how we should relearn about our own action. It is the time we have to think. We, as the future generation, have to think. What the most terrible action we have to do? Let me give you the several ways to do. First, we have to defer the action of giving command and bullying. When we want to give command about something, we're just not only stating the bad side of it. We not simply say that it is not good. Instead, we have to say in a good manner. In addition, we have to give positive and constructive comment towards someone. The comment which can make him or her become better. Besides, we have to say in a good side. As in social media, we should carefully choose the language. It's because we're not directly saying it. So, we don't know about the tone or expression. By doing this, we avoid the tendency to bully someone. Second, we have to realize that the content creators is human too. They have mistakes and sometimes doing wrong. Rather than neglecting them, try to hug them and give them an explanation. Give them understanding that they can do more benefit to our country. By using TikTok and Instagram, they can influence our young generation to make benefit this country. To be creative, diligent, and inspirational, we need to have good generation to inspiration for others. Your fingers are your weapon. Please be more responsible social media user. Comment positively, talk nicely, and post something appropriately. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's all my speech. Hopefully, you can get the positive things for my speech. Please be a golden generation to avoid the bullying. Thank you very much for your attention. I am Abhinimalaya. See you next time and goodbye. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.